seared black cod with Eric Hilver, cauliflower puree, roasted cauliflower, caviar, and black truffles. We're pulling out all of the expensive stuff today. <laughs> Let's talk about our vegetables first. So I have my water, salty like the ocean. ocean. And I have my shocking water. All right. While my beans are blanching, I'm gonna start to think about my cauliflower. Now, I'm gonna cook cauliflower two ways. For the cauliflower that I'm going to blanch and shock, I'm gonna puree it. So at this point, knife cuts, not so worried about okay. <laughs> Just cut out the stalk on the bottom. So, you know, in the same neighborhood of size, but you don't have to get your ruler out for this one. So, I'm doing my beans, and then I'm gonna use the same water right for my cauliflower. All right, so I'm making sure my beans are getting nice and cold. Now, I'm gonna just get my cauliflower right in there. Okay. In this preparation for our roasted cauliflower, knife cuts do matter. So, look, I'm just breaking the stalk off the bottom. For little florets, I find that if I take the tip of my knife and kind of stick it into the stalk and let it break apart to where it wants to come apart, we get these little, pretty little florets that look like little baby cauliflowers. There we are. All right, now we're gonna give this a nice drink of olive oil. Think of it more as like suntan oil. We want a nice even coating to get you know your bronze on. And a nice big fat sprinkle of salt. All right, we're gonna toss it around. A nice even layer, and there we go, right in the oven. So I'm gonna set my timer for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna go and rotate my tray, and then I'm gonna see where my cauliflower is going. All right, so my beans are done. Look how beautiful they are, nice and green, gorgeous. All right, a shallot, remember this guy? I'm looking for really nice knife cuts here. So see how I'm pulling my knife through this, all right? I'm not just crashing down right on top of it. Okay, there we go. Shallots for two purposes. Mise en place is so satisfying. <laughs> so I'm taking a little look at my cauliflower, turning my tray around, and I'm just gonna let this kind of rip. So let's think now, bounce back to this cauliflower. All right, now I'm just gonna put that right in there. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna sweat all of your shallots. I put my oil in my pan, I put my shallots and salt in there and heat up everybody gently together. If I heated up my pan really hot and put my olive oil in there and it didn't burn and make the kitchen really full of smoke, if I put my shallots right in there, they could very easily burn right away. And it's what sweating is, is it's kind of a gentle cook. You know, so we're heating everybody up together so we sweat the shallots and we don't have any color on them. So, I'm gonna take half those shallots right in with my cauliflower. And so look at what I have left. This is the base for my green beans. All right, so let's talk about fish. What I have here is called black cod. I love this fish. It's a very flaky, mild white fish. We want to make sure that the skin is really dry. We're gonna heat up our pan, and we're gonna get it to really pretty, pretty hot. I'm gonna put a decent amount of oil in here. All right, so the key to getting really nice, crispy fish skin is this pan. We're gonna oil the bottom of this. I'm gonna get ready, one at a time. Oh, do you hear that also? Rambunctious applause, <laughs> right? I mean, give me a standing O. If you don't hear that, when you touch protein to your pan, it is not ready. Wait. All right, so we lay it in, look at that. Ah, and look it. See it, do you see it? Wow. Yeah. Right, it's bunching up. If we don't give it a little weight, we will have really crispy around the outside edges of my fish, and it will have curled up and not get really crispy in the middle, and you will have flabby, flaccid fish skin. Ooh, nice things are starting to happen. So let's just redistribute everything, give it a little mix up, and right back in there. Let's just take a little look-see at my fish. Remember, we have to salt the bottom of our fish because we didn't do that yet. Ooh. So now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna cook it on the bottom. I wanna cook the bottom of my fish but I don't wanna cook my fish till it's gonna be dry and falling apart. We'll just let those go for another minute. I'm going to puree now. 
All right, do you guys know what creme fraiche is? It's kind of like French sour cream. That's gonna bring a nice like creaminess and kind of bright acidity to my cauliflower. I'm gonna add some heavy cream, add half of it. Just before we do that, let's just take, ooh, right? It was a fast cook, so this is one of the last things we're doing. But look at, okay. Okay. for sure, okay. ground food. All right, let's puree. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more cream to this. All right, how do I know if it's delicious? <laughs> right, it's like making big girl baby food. Yeah. We're really coming down the home stretch now, so I'm just warming up my beanie weenies. I'm gonna get my pan to be hot. I'm gonna go get my cauli, other cauliflower now. Look at my cauliflower, looks really nice. All right, now we wanna get them all tossed with the oil, the shallots, I gave them a little pinch of salt. You wanna just get everyone really nicely combined here. Now, let's talk plating. So, let things just fall off the tip. All right, just let it go. And then, we're just gonna spread this guy out a little bit. Gonna make it like a little divot. Some green beans. This is what I am, like to call my pickup stick presentation. We have a few of these little goodies. Scatter them around a little bit. Now, fish right in the middle. It's the super saw. Now, for our big finish, we're gonna start to pull out the really expensive items. Two kinds of caviar. Nice, generous spoonful. I'm gonna put the red one right next to it. Chives. I wanna do a little green sprinky dink of stuff. And now, for my big dismount, Truffles. Black truffles, I mean, have a very unique flavor. They bring a lot to the party. Like, this brings some earthiness to the table. All right, what do you guys think? 